So if you've ever juiced a pineapple in a vertical juicer like this one, the Kuvings C7000, you'll find that a lot of the times the fiber can get stuck when it comes out. So this is a video on exactly how to juice a pineapple. I've discovered just the most amazing technique. I've been successful 100% of the time since I've been doing this. And it basically makes juicing a pineapple a hell of a lot more fun. And you don't have to open up the juicer. You don't have to uh, clean the clog out. And it just makes the whole juicing process of doing pineapples and making pineapple juice way more fun. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to find yourself a very ripe pineapple. Mm, I'm living in Mexico right now, so it's pretty dang easy. But if you're in the States, generally you're gonna to wanna to find them if they're not green, got a little bit of color on them and have a little bit of give on the bottom. So we're gonna take this top up. We're gonna rip it straight off of there. Put that guy here. And here's the key. You're gonna to wanna to cut the top and bottom off. And I have found that I've tried, you know, I've tried so many different ways to juice pineapples, but none of them worked until I started doing this just a few days ago, actually changed everything. So you're obviously going to need to cut all the outside off. Unfortunately, we're getting commercial pineapples. I obviously do not speak Spanish. So it's been, it's been quite hard to track down organic pineapples. Um, but if you follow the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15, which are the least and most pesticide ridden foods, typically if they have a harder outside surface or a thicker, um, let's see, shell, you know, kind of like a watermelon, stuff like that, pineapple, then you should be pretty good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the juicer on. And you know, I mean, this, this might be a little funky. This might be a little gross to be honest, but you know how if you're ever walking by like a, uh, a meat vendor, like a, a street meat style cart, and they have a big slab of meat that they're, you know, it's spinning around. I, I can't remember what it's called. Um, and they're slicing off the meat and it's always rotating. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. So a pineapple basically has a bunch of fibers and the core, the fibers go vertical, but after the core, the, uh, the fibers go horizontal. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to cut those fibers into really small pieces in order for it to not get stuck on this exit chute right here. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just slowly, but surely, just slice off little tiny pieces, real thin pieces. It, this honestly, it goes pretty damn fast. And as you cut these real thin pieces off, like maybe half inch thick, what you're doing is you're cutting the fiber about a half inch thick. So you can, damn, that is real looking really good. That is some beautiful juice. So basically you're gonna have a fiber that is like half inch thick. So it's impossible for it to get stuck when it comes out. So, and that's basically the reason most juicers get clogged is because of the fibers. If you juice something like celery or, you know, Swiss chard and you don't cut them in like half inch pieces, it just gets stuck. Some juicers work, but the vertical masticating juicers, you have to cut the fibers in, you know, I'd say like half inch pieces. So in my opinion, this is like, look at that. Look at that. It's just flowing. You know, most people have struggled juicing pineapples and, you know, I get hit up all the time with people asking me like, yo, should I get this juicer? How does it do with soft produce? Will it juice celery and pineapples? And I said, yeah, you got to take your time. You got to cut it in small pieces. But you know, I've always, I've always still had bad luck with it. See, look at that with it juicing pineapples perfectly. And since I've been doing this, like it's just perfect. Zero issues just flowing out. And the key is to just keep rotating it, you know? Almost like a slab of meat. Like I said, that's gross if you're a vegan, but hey, that's exactly how you do it. And it works perfect almost every single time. So right now we're at probably three cups. Not slowing down anytime soon. You'll notice that when you start to get into the core of the pineapple, you can kind of see it. There's like a round, there's like a little round core right there. That's when you're gonna need to, to, to flip it over and chop it the other way. So as you can see, it's just epic. You know, I will say this, since we've been, for those of you that don't know me, my girlfriend moved to Mexico about two months ago. We used to live in San Diego and I really never juiced pineapples. For one, because we'd never get ripe pineapples. Um, but for two, 
It's because we, we have really amazing apples and grapes and well, the watermelons are really good. So, you know, we haven't been able to find any apples here in Mexico that are organic or even really good. They're all imported and they all kind of suck. So we've been doing a ton of pineapple juice because they're so damn good and ripe. So now we got the core. The fibers in this guy go up and down. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to chop this sideways, similar to how you would cut a celery. So we'll chop that guy up like so. And then that's pretty much it. You drop those guys in like zero issues, zero issues, 100%. And the great part about this is if you're going to juice other things besides just pineapple, you don't have to stop. You don't have to clean the juicer. It's not going to get clogged. It's just going to go. It's perfect. Damn, I'm amazing. Every single time I've done this, it's worked out just incredibly well. So we got our pineapple done. That, what did that take? I don't know, four minutes or something? So that made probably six cups. Epic. This is just pure pineapple juice. I'm not even gonna mess it up because the flavor is just so bomb. So there it is. We got about, I don't know, five and a half cups of amazing pineapple juice. Let's give it a taste test right here. Mm. Yo, you guys. Yo, quick little, quick little thing. When I first started drinking juice, I really didn't like it if they were room temperature. I was coming straight off the standard American diet and my taste buds weren't really developed to appreciate the beautiful fine flavors in a fruit juice. But now as I you know, become more experienced and I've tasted more juices, and my taste buds have developed, you know, there is nothing like room temperature juice or even just room temperature fruit. So I recommend, you know, for digestion purposes also, it digests a lot easier if you just let the, the fruit cool down to room temperature. So if you are storing your stuff in the fridge, pull it out an hour before, you know, and digest easier. Your body doesn't have to heat the, the produce up or the liquids up when you're drinking it. And I've just found that it tastes, you know, you can just taste the flavor so much better if it's room temp. Mm. Mm. Damn. Okay, so epic. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. That is how you juice a pineapple without the fibers getting stuck. If you're interested in this juicer, this is the, the juicer that has brought me back to life. It's the Kuvin C7000. This is not a shameless plug. This is basically just the juicer I've used for over three years now that helped me uh, overcome Crohn's disease. And it basically is the best all around juicer, the best bang for your buck. And the, the in my opinion, the most epic part about this guy is it's got this three inch wide feed chute right here, <clears throat> which is game changer. You chop things up, you can just toss it in there, you know? It's got this little spill guard right here, which is amazing so all the produce doesn't fall on the sides. <clears throat> you know, it's like 400 bucks, I think. And it will last you 10 years, you know? This comes with a 10 year warranty. And it's just, it's the best juicer I have found. I've been through a lot of them and uh, I use it every single day. I make juice pretty much every single day. I make smoothies, I eat fruit, I eat salads. And I promote the raw living food lifestyle because it changed my life, it's changed millions of other people's lives. And it's a human diet. It's the most natural food for us to eat. It tastes good, it's vibrant, it's got life in it. It's got booming with nutrients, enzymes, biophotons, and just there's so many benefits of getting into the daily juicing habit. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something. If you do juice a pineapple and this works for you, please tag me if you, if you do this on Instagram or YouTube. Uh, just hit me up, let me know what your experience is with doing the pineapple like this because I honestly just invented this a few days ago and it's epic, it works so good. So anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time, peace.